Okay, um, water moves from cell to cell within a plant and from the cells to the atmosphere around it by water potential gradients. If the water potential in one cell is more negative than the cell next to it, water will flow from the more positive water potential to the lower water potential cell. And will, it will distribute across the cell membrane by osmosis. And all, the reason water is lost to the atmosphere is because in the atmosphere the water potential gradient is lower than within the cells, so the water moves from the cell into the atmosphere through the smarter. Um, the pathway which water takes from the root cortex um, to the S all the way through the plant and then back into the air surrounding it. Um, it goes through many different stages. In the root cortex, there are two different pathways which um, water can take to get to the xylem. It can take the apoplast pathway or the sympathetic pathway. The sympathetic pathway is actually simpler and it just involves water going straight from the soil. It diffuses through the cell membrane and cell wall into the cell and then travels through the cytoplasm of the cells. As you can see. Um, and it continues to do this until you get to the xylem. Um, the apron pass pathway is slightly different in the the walls uh, yeah. um, travel through the cell walls in the, uh, in the spaces it. in between. I'll be your own boss. Someone genuinely quite inspiring. And it travels within the spaces in between the uh, cellulose molecules, which make up the cell wall. Um, and then, when some of these cells in their cell wall have an aspirin strip, which is a waterproof strip, which, when water, water traveling along the apoplast pathway gets to it, it forces it back into the cell, so it has to take the sympathetic pathway to get to the cell. Uh, the water then travels up the xylem all the way up to the leaf where it is then lost through the okay. <coughs> So, how does water move up the stem? So, the, um, the action of the endodermis moving material into the xylem by active transport drives water into the xylem by osmosis. This forces the water into the xylem and pushes water up the xylem. Root pressure can push water a few metres up a stem but cannot account for water getting to the top of tall trees. Uh, there's a transpiration pool. The loss of water by evaporation from the leaves is replaced by water coming up the stem. Uh, by, from, uh, through the xylem even. Water molecules are attracted uh, to each other, which is called cohesion. Uh, these cohesion makes it just one long column of water, which has no breaks in it. And also there's um, adhesion with the um, water and the cell and the walls of the xylem. And so basically it's almost like crawling up the walls and it just helps it uh, come up. And the xylem vessels, this is why the xylem vessels must be um, strengthened by lig lignin, uh, which is uh, waterproof to prevent water loss and also helps it keep strong. Um, okay, so the capi there's also capillary action. The same forces that hold the water molecules together. Oh, that's it. Um, so it's the same bond. So cohesion and adhesion is basically the same, but cohesion is to each other and adhesion is to the wall. So how water leaves the leaf? Most of the water leaves the leaf through the stomata, which is tiny pores in the epidermis. Um, only a tiny amount of leaves. Only a tiny amount of leaves through the waxy cuticle because it's basically waterproof, which is to prevent water loss. Um, and water evaporates from the cells lining the cavity immediately below the guard cells. This lowers water potential in these cells, causing water to enter them by osmosis from neighbouring cells. Water then enters these neighbouring cells from cells deeper in the leaf and so on until eventually the water leaves the xylem and enters the innermost leaf cells. Okay. 
eight, and there should be a five for this. And this is basically like transpiration, which is showed through this like experiment. So the water will leave, or the water vapor will leave here, which will force. So then there's a lower water potential in these leaves, so the water will come up to replace it, and this is acting as the stem in this experiment, and it's just a potometer. The end.